Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about the tangent and a normal to a curve. So we're going to be finding out the equation of a tangent and a normal to a curve. So first of all, let's try to find the equation of a tangent to a curve at a given point. So tangent to a curve at a given point. So let's go ahead and find that. So let's suppose we have a curve and uh, let's suppose this is how it is. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis, right? And we have a curve like this, you know, something like this. Let's suppose this curve is like this. And at this point, let's suppose at this point, what do I do is I draw a tangent to this curve, right? Tangent is something which just touches that curve. And let's suppose the point, the value of that point, it's uh, equal to the x-coordinate is equal to a. If the x coordinate is a, then the y coordinate would be f of a because I'm saying that let's suppose that this curve is equal to y is equal to f of x. Then if the x coordinate is a at this point, then the y coordinate would be f of a, which means it would be the y value that is f of a. Now one thing over here you need to understand is that equation of a line, equation of a line is something which can be given as y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, right? Where x1 and y1 are the points on the line, right? Are the points on the line and m is the slope of the line. m is something which is the slope of the line. Now, what is the slope of this line? The slope of this line is going to be equal to the gradient of this curve or the, the f dash x of this curve. So the slope of this line is actually going to be equal to the value of f dash a. Because as you can see here is that if we kind of look at this curve and this line at a microscopic level, uh, this curve is going to have almost the same slope as this line, uh, you know, at this particular point, which means the slope is going to be equal to the gradient of the curve. As you've known from the previous videos that the slope of the curve is equal to the gradient of the curve. So which is actually equal to the dy over dx of the curve at that particular point. That means the slope at this point is going to be equal to f dash of a. That is dy of dx of that curve at this particular point. So this is going to be the slope of the curve. And the equation of this tangent, then the equation of the tangent is something which would be given by, the equation of the tangent is something which would be given by, uh, so you have the point that it passes through a comma f of a and it has a slope of f dash of a. So f dash of a is nothing but which is y minus y1 which is y minus f of a over x minus x1 which is x minus a. So from here even if I apply this formula directly the equation of the tangent of the curve is going to be equal to y minus f of a into f dash of a into x minus a. So this is what is the equation of a tangent at a given point. Now let's suppose if I want to find out the equation of the normal at the same point. Now what is the equation of a normal? Now this line was the tangent at this point that is a comma f of a. Then the normal is going to be line which is perpendicular to this point, you know, which is perpendicular to this point. So this would be the normal to the curve or normal to the curve at this given point. Now, as you know that tangent and normal, they are perpendicular to each other. So, the tangent curve and the normal curve, they are perpendicular to each other. That means, uh, as you've seen in our, uh, you know, slope videos, that when lines are perpendicular to each other, the product of the slopes is equal to negative 1. Right? So, when lines are perpendicular to each other, the product of the slopes is equal to negative 1. Which means that if the slope of the tangent is f dash a, if the slope of the tangent is f dash a, then the slope of the normal, then the slope of the normal is going to be equal to 1 over negative f dash a. Right? So that is going to be the slope of the normal. That is 1 over minus f dash a because this into this should give me a negative 1. That means again if I apply the same formula that it passes through a and f of a and 1 over minus f dash a is the slope. So this is the slope. Then the equation of the line is going to be the slope. If I apply the slope formula, if I apply the slope formula, that's going to be y2 
minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right so that means from here x minus a uh, into into 1 over negative of f dash a is equal to y minus f of a so this is something which is going to be the slope of the normal at a given point fine so let's just go ahead and put this into a question here so let's suppose if I have this question, let's say find the equation of the tangent of to the curve this at this point. So what is going to be uh, so what is going to be the equation of the tangent to the curve? So the equation, or let's say the slope that is f dash of a is going to be equal to y minus f of a divided by x minus a, right? So this is going to be the equation of the slope because as you've seen that we've already done that this is the point which is a and f of a and uh, the slope is equal to f dash of a. So if I substitute here, if I try to find the value of f dash of x, so f dash of x is actually going to be equal to, so if I find the derivative of this function, that is going to be equal to 3x square minus 6x plus 2. So that is going to be the value of f dash of x. And uh, I have to find the value of f dash of 3 now, right? Because as you can see, the points are 3, 5, right? So the values are 3, 5. That means f dash of 3 is going to be equal to 3 into 9 minus 6 into 3 plus 2, which is going to be 27 minus 18 plus 2, which is actually going to be 29. Uh, I'm sorry, 27 minus 18 is just 9 plus 2, which is actually equal to 11. So that means if I substitute this here, 11 is equal to y minus 5 over x minus 3. That means the equation of the tangent is going to be 11x minus 33 is equal to y minus 5. I just took this whole thing to that side, right? And uh, then y is equal to 11x minus 33 and plus 5 is going to be equal to minus 28. And this is going to be the equation of the tangent uh, to the, this curve at this point, right? So this is what it's going to be the equation of the tangent. Now the only thing that we need to be worried about is the only thing that you need to know that you substitute the right values for a and you substitute the right values for f on f of a. Now understand f of a is the y value and the the value of a is the x. You know it's the it's the x value for the curve. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and do another question. It says find the equation of the normal to the curve. Uh, with equation this at point x equal to 4. Now, we have to find, again, we have to find the equation of the normal to the curve. If this is the curve and this is the point where x is 4, now if x is 4, or uh, y is actually going to be equal to 8 minus 3 square root of 4, which is 8 minus 3 into 2, which is 8 minus 6, which is equal to 2. That means the y value is going to be equal to 2. Right, And I have to find the equation of this point, which is actually 90 degrees, which is perpendicular to the curve at this point. That means uh, that is going to be the uh, negative reciprocal of the uh, of the f dash of a. So I, all I do is I find the value of f dash of x, which is actually going to be equal to uh, negative 3, uh, which is there because this is going to give no value. This is, gonna ha this is gonna not going to have any value in f dash of x into 1 by 2 into x raised to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 which is going to be equal to negative 3 over 2 and this is something which is going to be a square root x here right now if i try to find the value of f dash of a that is f dash of 4 i'll be getting the value as negative 3 over 2 into square root of 4 which is equal to negative 3 over 4 now the negative reciprocal of f dash of 4 is going to be equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So this point. So that means negative reciprocal of this is going to be 1, negative 1 over negative 3 by 4 is equal to y minus 2 over x minus 4. That means this thing is going to become 4 by 3, which is equal to y minus 2 over x minus 4. Now what happens is you take this to that side and you take this to that side. So you're going to have 4 times x minus 16 is equal to 3y minus 6. And from here you just get the equation. You get 4x uh, minus 10 is equal to 3y. That means uh, 4 by 3x minus 10 by 3 is equal to y. 
So this is the equation of the normal to the curve at this particular point. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and do another question. Let's do a difficult question. Now what we're going to do in this question is, this question says that find the coordinates of the point with the tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared plus 1 at the point 2 comma 5. So the tangent at 2 comma 5 meets normal at 1 comma 2. So I have to find the tangent, the equation of this line and equation of this line and I have to check where do these two lines meet. So I'll find the equation of this line. So uh, first of all, I'll find the value of f dash of x, which is actually going to be equal to 2 times x because it's x square. So 2 times x is what is going to be the value of f dash x. Then I'm going to find the value of f dash of a, which is actually equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Now this slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. From here, I'll get the equation. That means 4 times x minus 8 is equal to y minus 5. That means 4 times x plus, sorry, 4 times x minus 3 is equal to y. So that is the equation of the tangent. Now let's find the equation of the normal. So for that, I'll find first of all the value of f dash of 1, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. That means negative 1 over 2, that is the normal slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So y2 minus y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that means 1 minus x is actually going to be equal to 2y minus 4. Hence, from here I can say that, that the value of uh, this is going to be 5 minus x is equal to 2y. So this is the equation of the normal. Now I have to find where do these two lines meet. This line and this line. I have to find where do, they, where do these two lines meet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this equation by 2. I'm going to have 8x minus 6 is equal to 2 times y. And 2 times y is equal to 5 minus x. Right. So that's what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract both the equations. So this goes. So negative 6 and negative 5 is going to have negative 11. And 8 plus 9 is going to have 9 times x, which is equal to 0. That means uh, from here, I can say that 9x is equal to 11. That means x is equal to 11 by 9. So this is the x coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the x coordinate in any of these equations to get the y coordinate. So 5 minus 11 over 9 is equal to 2 times y. Right? So that's what it is. 5 minus 11 over y is equal to 2 times y. So this over here is going to be 45 minus 11 over 9 is equal to 2 times y. So what is 45 minus 11? 45 and 11 is going to be 34. So 34 over 9 is going to be 2 times y. That means 17 over 9 is going to be y. So that means the y coordinate of that point is 17 over 9. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, I hope you've understood everything here. Uh, in this video, we discussed the tangent to the curve, the equation of the tangent to a curve at a given point and the equation of the normal to a curve at a given point. So we'll be coming with more video, guys. So keep watching. Make sure that you explore our website. Give us your valuable like on Facebook. And don't forget to send us your valuable feedback. So this would be about this video, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.